Hey guys, this is Aaron, and I'm going to look at generating landscape from contour lines using the sandbox tool. Right here, I have a bunch of lines I've imported. Um, these lines step up from, uh, I think the low point's down here and it steps up this way. It might be the other way. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by selecting all these lines, and I'm going to go to my sandbox tool, and I'm going to use from contours. What that's going to do is that's just going to connect these lines together with surfaces. So if I look at this in 3D now, I'll actually be able to see, okay, so this is actually the high side, see this stepping up like that. Um, if I turn on my hidden geometry, I can actually see what that did was connect all these lines together with a bunch of triangulated surfaces to make that uh, sloping surface. So one of the downsides to what happened here is you can see it, it just cut back to whatever the uh, closest line was. So again, if I run that, I don't have a rectangle, which is what I was hoping for. I actually have this, this kind of cut off. So over here, I have another set of lines. And what I did was at the, at the rectangular points where I expect this to go to, I've actually placed a couple of small line segments just to identify where those corners are. And they're at the proper height. Uh, the height of the nearest line. So when I select and run again, I get my slope surface, but I maintain my rectangular lot size. So there we go. You can see that there. And again, still it's triangulating that. It's just pulling from these corners to create that uh, rectangle. Something I want to point out here is the quality of the mesh of the surface that's created is based on the lines that I have imported. So over here I have a couple sets of lines. I'm just going to run this real quick to show you the difference. Here I have some real basic lines, real simple. When I run from contours on there, it does give me the slope of my line. So I can see it coming up. But if I look at the uh, hidden lines, I can see real simple, real blocky almost. Whereas if I run that on this, I know it's a silly looking bunch of curves, but when I run that, I'll see I get a much smoother broken up uh, surface. So the lines you use for contours do have a direct impact on the quality of the uh, mesh you get for your landscape in the end. So that's it, quick overview on using Sandbox tools from contours to create landscape from lines.